All right, I just got a notification of Solar Eclipse is happening, and it rolled me back to right before I made the charred idol. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. At least I have a somewhat decent pick. Okay, so... Here's the edge of the, uh, the thing. The, uh, brimstone crag. And... We're roughly caught up to where we were before the crash. It happens rarely whenever I kill an enemy. Oh man, somebody killed a lava slime. Guys, just leave those guys alone. Oh, there's one of those cultist assassins. There we go. Alright, there's all of thatness. And do that. Go here. Get rid of all that. Got a Hellbringer Mimic, huh? Really? That's. It's like a mini bio mimic. Exactly like a mini bio mimic, okay. How much health do you have, little, little guy? 7k? Okay, yes, yeah, a biomimic is just smaller. Got a devil dagger. That is a magic weapon. Huh. Killing enemies will boost your magic damage briefly. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, much further over. Yeah, probably... Earish, I think would be good. Is that another one? Yeah, it is. Ow. Holy crap. Yeah, you hurt. Oh, kill it with fire. There's two of them. Uh, and I lost my molten uh, turret staff as well. Oh well. These guys are... St the, the Riptide sentries are still actually... Doing pretty good. What was that? Schmezzle? Okay, cool. Ah! <laughs> okay, there's another one. Uh, the question is, do I want to bother with an eclipse right now? I don't know how well... Like, how good the eclipse is going to be for me right now? I mean, honestly, it's uh, probably not the greatest. Oh, red devils. Yep, I killed a mechanical, so we get the harder uh, vanilla enemies now. Uh, molten mortar. That's the guy right there I want to kill. I mean... The stained fire, they do really good. But, uh. Why oh, would you guys quit killing the damn lava slimes? That's why I had to put these blocks down. Lava was just really screwing up everything.
All right. Um, yeah, I don't need a single tin ore. I will take this demonic bone ash though. I uh, got was an ash and stalactite. Yeah, nobody cares about that. It's a pretty hard mode throwing weapon. So, one of those. We can grab that stuff out. All right, you guys are dead. Good. Well, at the very least, let's go back because I have a few minions missing, but also I've got a full inventory. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the banner again. At least we got that back. But so, chop. Let me actually get this on the hot bar. Go take a peek at this uh, waterfall event going on. Get out of here. Guys, come out here. So I think it's still just like the like the basic enemies, right? Swamp Thing, Fritz, Frankenstein. Uh, possessed and vampires, I think is all we get. Which was fine the first time I did this, Ben, because I just wanted a vampire wing, so. Creature from the deep. Oh, there's a vampire. Ow! He bit me on the butt. Stop it. Thank you. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a lot on Tom. He didn't drop anything though, so yeah, we're still in the uh, the pretty basic solar eclipse. Uh, La Phantom, that is uh, the Phantom. Phantom the Opera, even though we, his mask looks almost exactly like Jigsaw. Uh, it's from Thorium Mod, and that he drops bard items, I think. Maybe healer too, I'm not sure, but. Yeah, I don't see much point in doing this event. I've gotten a mushroom so far. And it's not like I need more bat wings, so. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, ready? Up. Up there. Thank you. Okay. Take care of that guy first. Uh,. Discord. Thank you. Hello, what are you? Infernal Hound. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, Abyssal Whistle. Okay, yeah. It's like, oh, something new. And then it's like, ah, no, it wasn't. Alright. Uh... So let me get these down. Guess I'll throw some clouds down because why not? Get our chard. Idle. God, I hope it didn't roll back as far this time. All right. So yeah. Not had the greatest luck so far. It rolled back again on me a little bit. Uh, got kind of caught up. What are you going for there, guy? He's going for something down here. But... I think we're ready to go. She's only got 131,000, so only, right? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ow.
All right. Hey, Amy. Can I get healed? Thank you. Well, I'm back here now. I can drop stuff off. Got a slurper pole though. Can't fish or catch fish in water or in, uh, in water, yeah. In uh, lava. Alright, you go here. Alright, um probably gonna keep that actually. Oh, we'll sell those two things off. We got Slime Rancher, we've got, yeah, Slime Rancher, okay. All right. I don't think there's anything that gives you, like, potion-wise, that gives immunity to the... That is a tiny little gap right there. Uh, to Brim Flames. Oh, there's a lost girl in there. There it goes. My turrets are just farming things for me over there. Oh, hey, look, we got an Anomura fungus. Okay, it's dead now. It's just down here, it's killing an armored skeleton. Alright, um... Right, yeah, I don't really think that Calamity has a potion that could work. At least not one that I can make right now. And, yeah, nope. Nada. So... Man. I need to put a door over there, I think. <laughs> Thanks. Well, no, if I put an actual door over there, then uh, the skeletons will be sitting there just banging on it all the damn time. Alright, uh, so how am I going to... Because her shots go through blocks, even. So... Mini control rod. I can use it to make them teleport to a position. Very handy whenever they get stuck. All right. At least we're getting a good amount of essence of chaos from being down here. Ow! Up, butt right down in front of me. Ay. <sighs> At least I dodged that one, but I still got the brim flame effect. Ow! Dang it. Ow! Holy crap. Fuck. Uh... Oh, I had like one second to get heal. And she enrages outside of the brimstone, doesn't she? Actually, here, let's, uh... Talk to Amy. Let's go ahead and heal. And if I teleport right back down right away, it looks like I might have been able to catch her. Wow. 
Wow, they actually did a number on that thing, didn't they? Alright, so what happens if I just, like, decide to go for a running gun on her? Oh, for one, she can definitely move faster than I can. Ow. Crap, I just... I jumped into that one. Okay, we're definitely out of the brimstone now. Oh, yeah. I'm just... Well, I was pretty well dead before we got that far, so... Not exactly a good test, was it? One downside is I constantly have to do this. We did lose a spaz, it looks like. Whoop. Start running right away. Ow. Oh, gosh, she's already doing this. Ah, hey! <clears throat> the farther those things go, the more they accelerate. So, okay. Yep. Okay. So, running's not going to help, because her shots are, well, the farther they travel, the faster they get. So that's just not going to work for me. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go collect all these drops over here and kind of think about what to do next. I don't think you've unlocked anything new in your shop lately, have you? Uh, no. The, the next uh, thing to kill, I think, is Mothron itself, right? Oh, that's right. There's the uh, Brown Recluse or something like that. That'll get me the Drider's Grace Wings. Rune Wizard, we can buy a Wormhole Mirror. Your Lamp, destroy all monsters, gives me the God Killer. And then after that would be, yeah, complete all of the contracts. So, party member or villager via the map. Okay. That works. There they are. Like, all right, guys, where you at? The air is getting colder around you. Oh, Skeletron Prime's trying to spawn in tonight. Sure, why not? Let's go do that. Yeah, let's get this off the hop bar. I don't think I can summon her up here. I'd rather not find out the hard way that you can, though. Because I'd probably do it, like, when Skeletron Prime's just got, like, a thousand or so health left. Oop. Definitely starting to think that these fights, though, are going to be boring to watch because of how long they take. Alright. And also how long it takes Skeletron to show up. Alright. Oop. Nope, nope. There he goes. Ah. Jerk. Yeah. <laughs> 
he came in at 9.30. It's 2.30 now. That was way too long of a fight. Uh, he's pretty predictable, though. He really is. Uh, let's see. I think I got everything. The Burden Breaker. A good time. Increases horizontal movement speed beyond comprehension. Does not work while boss is alive. No, but it's a really good way of getting around the map. Got the inaction figure, treasure bag. Uh, Spear of Destiny. There's three spears with the outer two having homing capabilities. It's kind of cool. Long enough, huh? All right. Still had an inventory, just a bunch of crap in it. And so, can I get a shelf or three of them actually? Uh, yeah, there instead. And building with the twins is just so much fun. It almost looks like he's got a little flower in his hair. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's step away. Open this up. Souls of Fright. And he actually got hallow bars. All right. So first things first, right? We have to make the mine cart. I mean, honestly. What? the hell is it called? Mechanical cart. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's put the determination breaker away as well. And for now, card idol can go here. Uh, let's see. Do I have... I think I have a pair of frost fork boots in here already, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Uh, lava waders. Nope. Okay. Water walking boots. Sitting in water walking boots. Lava waders. Uh, let's see. Which one's it? Is it the Seraph Tracers? Yeah. No, it's the Angel Treads, not Tracers. Oop. Angel Treads. Awesome. So, the ability to run incredibly fast, swim, uh, skate on ice, fly, slide down walls, walk on water and lava, and 7 seconds of lava immunity. Uh, increased flight time, 36% increased running acceleration, greater mobility on the ice, water and lava walking, temporary immunity to lava. So it's uh, pretty close to the same, but these are upgradable further. So, And these even say extreme speed with an exclamation point. Uh, and there's also the rune I wanted to make. The hallowed rune. Uh, basically, it's just the upgrade of the spirit, uh, spirit glyph. I don't know if I'm actually going to use that or not. Part of the Phantomic Artifact, which needs Runia Souls, Blood Orb, and Exodium. So this is post Moon Lord at this point. Okay, if you have an offensive boost, enemies hit by minions will sometimes be hit by Phantomic Knives. Have the regenerative boost, a Phantomic Heart will occasionally materialize, granting massive health regen. Defensive boost, a bulwark will absorb 20% of the next projectile damage that hits the bulwark, shattering it. Well, this one, I mean, if you have the offensive boost, enemies hit by the minions will sometimes be hit by stars. Uh, it could be good, right? I don't know what I would replace, though. Uh, this thing is 
in hard mode to upgrade it. Uh, first Shadow Flame, kind of same thing. Onk Shield. You upgrade to Asgard's Valor. I need Abaddon, Or of Calamity, and Life Fruit. Uh, this is going to require me to get uh, Ectoplasm, though. And there's the Terrarium Defender from, from Thorium. And which is a pretty good shield too, but this one's upgradable even further. So this is into the line. And it's 10% minion damage, and I'm mainly using it for the plus one minion. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll swap it out. Go down to six minions for a while. And Well, let's just hop into here and see what we can make. This wasn't there a summon weapon I needed hallowed for? One thing I like about Magic Swords 1 4 is it has more filtering buttons, which is really nice. Uh, do 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 do. Or a Calcum Drifter Staff. Okay, interesting. Mithril Prism. Mithril Prism to vaporize enemies that come near you. That's interesting. Titanium Grinder. A very terrifying and effective sentry. Yeah, let's try it out. Shield Minion. Sky Spiral. Man Eater. Damn, that's all Thorium there now. Eh. Uh, Back to Query, it's kind of mixed again together because there's Calamity. Seahorse Staff from Thorium, which. Eight Coral. Yeah. Uh, Steer, steer a Paleolith, yeah, no. Nope. Uh, let's see what else we got here. There's the Corruptling from Thorium. Lady's Light, we tried it. It just shoots too slow for as fast as everything moves in this mod. We got an Apex Wand, Ancient Mineral Sharks. I can make the Sun God. Do that. 100 summon damage. Okay, I can get behind that. Oh, uh, there's the Forgotten Apex Wand. Yeah, we already looked at that. Star Swallower. Mounted Scanner. Sure, let's try that. Uh, this one needs to be charged up, but I do have a battery charger up here. And it only uses power when you summon the minions with the uh, the charge weapons, I found out. There we go. Yeah, I did have it open. I, for some reason, expecting it to show up over here, but... It charges fairly quick, too, actually. All right, so should probably lock to Dalek here. Uh, let's get this thing reforged. Yeah, let's stick with warding, I guess. Uh, deadly can probably do better than deadly, right? He's only giving me godly. Masterful. That's uh, not bad, I guess. There's our mythical. I gave me an extra four damage on that. All right, and we got mythical already. Right, Seventy-one now. Cool. So let's go ahead and wish our twins goodbye. Get our sun god staff. And when I reforged it, it wiped out the charge. <laughs> like, why no work? Well, did you know the reforging uh, clears the charge out of it?
Here we go. And I like how they point the direction I'm moving. <clears throat> of course, if I stop, they all point down at me, so that's probably not great. Yeah, there's no enemies over here for once. Wow. There we go. How about we go here? Describe ourselves. Uh, yeah, King Slime's always a good target, right? Especially since it's like one in the afternoon now, so I can't exactly summon the eyeball. I have to say I'm liking this setup. Let's see, you're at 95% charge because I used you five times. And the Sun God staff's doing pretty good too. I really need to finish this tower. Uh, still not really all that happy with how it looks though, so. Uh, nothing. Okay. But you know what though? You do have a shop. Oh, yeah, and then there's our grinder staff that I wanted to try out as well. Going from seven to nine. Okay. That's right. I, uh, I took off my strange skull, so I only have one century now. How do you work? Like, ignores defense for one. Did you just grab something and pull it in? Yep, it did. Oh, that is kind of cool. It won't work on bosses, but uh, it's grabbing smaller slimes and just sucking them in there and then just grinding them up. Nine base damage and it did 63. That's a bit different. But, uh, I like that thing. Not gonna lie. All right, and we'll just sell that off too. Yeah, it's my necrotic skull. I'm not going to sell that off. I might in the future decide I need more turrets for something. So, more sentries, whatever you want to call them. All right, but I'm, I'm liking our loadout right now. And, you know, I almost completely forgot. I'm going to make a Drax. That way I can actually... Oh, it's because we're on weapons, isn't it? Yep. Uh, I'm missing... Hallowed. Okay. It spawned uh, in the underground hallow. So... Uh, where is my... Oh, Discord? The turrets are a bit loud, or the... Mm -hmm. No, stop. Yeah, let's go here. I've got this nice big open area now. And... Mm, nah. That is mithril. Okay. Or calcum. I am out of inventory space already. All right, cool.
Uh, where'd that dart trap end up? Oh, right there. Okay. And... Crystal Crawler is a thing, huh? Yeah, drops five Crystal Shreds. Cool. Thinking it may not spawn here in this ice and snow, though. Okay, now we're to Rollstone area. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. There's titanium there, I think. I have to do something special to get that uh, spider mob to spawn in. The one from Thorium. I just can't remember what it is. Okay, that's more Oracolcum. They've given there, right? That was adamantite there. Okay. Um, yeah, I can actually make those. I think, make or buy one of the two. Ah, uh, yeah, that's titanium right there. Oh, look at that sword! Oh, that's gone now. Definitely time to go on a mining spree, though. That way I can get plenty of titanium and everything else for later use. I completely missed the crystal I was aiming at there. Alright. Is that it? Oh, that's it there. Okay. And I can't mine it with the geode pick. Oh, that's shame. Yep, can't mine. Okay. Uh, let me just get rid of that. There we go. If you want to make pearl stone bricks at all? You need pearl sand as well. All right. So we know that it spawns down here. Uh, we're at what nineteen fifty roughly. And you know what it looks like. Can't mind it yet. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, apparently I need to go make a, like, titanium or adamantite pick. And the good news is there seems to be a lot of this stuff around here. Which is nice because you were not able to, uh, you know, break an altar to get more. So... Look at that sword, though. That is awesome. Oh. Yep, there's more hallowed right there as well. Cool. I thought it was like iron at first. What are you? You're dead now. Okay. Oh, that was not on purpose, but oh well. Uh, but thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.